Well, thank you for inviting me to speak to you today. Uh, and I think it's certainly appropriate for a data-focused initiative such as this, that my appearance, is, my appearance is virtual. But of course, as COVID restrictions ease, um, I'm absolutely looking forward again to face-to-face -face visits. And one of the first places I want to come to is to see the exciting work underway in the UK connected and automated mobility sector. Um, it's great to see yet another world-class project emerging from the West Midlands and I note the impressive range of partners that Convex has built from key auto sector players like Jaguar Land Rover and Bosch to tech startups like Sinope, Valoran and Immense as well as the network operator Transport for West Midlands and the academic expertise of the, War of the Warwick Manufacturing Group who have done so much for the, for, the, for the region. And of course, all this has been ably coordinated by Cordant, and you've clearly assembled a team of all the talents, and I congratulate you for that. Um, CAM has long promised to transform transport, making journeys greener, safer, easier, and more productive. And it is where many of the well-paying jobs of the future could be in areas like agile vehicle design, coding, cybersecurity and fleet management. I'm encouraged that the UK is absolutely amongst the world leaders in CAM, building on the foundations laid five years ago when government and industry first committed to advancing the technology together. We've achieved so much since then. Um, CCAB has worked closely with industry to develop one of the best regulatory environments in the world for developing and deploying the technology. And we have jointly invested more than £400 million into more than 90 world-class projects, working with 200 organisations to set the standard for CAM innovation. And CAM Testbed UK of which, of course, Convex is an integral part, is now opening for business, establishing a globally unique testbed ecosystem that will attract companies from around the world to develop and deploy their products in the UK. And I can think of no better place for companies to do that. Now, we must refocus and reconsider what is needed to ensure that these achievements drive further success pushing the UK CAM sector to reach its full potential. Government and business, of course, now is rightly focused today on two of our greatest challenges, how to build our economy back better after the terrible COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused so much sorrow and misery around the world, and also, of course, tackling the threat of climate change. There is, a, there is a compelling opportunity for this sector here now to demonstrate how CAM and unique initiatives like Convex can help us deliver our objectives for achieving net zero, for building back better, for economic recovery and sustainable growth, and for making the UK a science superpower. And I really believe that the case for CAM must be made in these terms alongside a clear vision for where the sector plans to invest and how government can focus its resources to support innovation and correct market failures. So I encourage you all to engage with CCAB over the coming months as it works to understand how government investment and partnership can secure the UK status as a world leader it can long into the future. So I absolutely look forward to hearing more about this exciting agenda and learning more in the coming months. And thank you very much for all that you are doing. Thank you.